In this video, we're going to look at dynamic microtuning in Bitwig Studio using the Oddsound MTS ESP plugin suite. The MTS ESP master plugin controls tuning, and with it, you can switch and morph tuning systems. Plugins and hardware devices can be set up to automatically follow these changes in real time. For a plugin that supports MTS ESP, just load it into the session and it will automatically follow the tuning in the master. No further setup is necessary. For everything else, you can use the MTS ESP MIDI client plugin. This is a MIDI plugin, meaning it doesn't process or output any audio, only MIDI data. It is designed to sit before a synth, retuning it with MIDI messages in response to tuning changes in MTS ESP master. To insert a MIDI plugin before an instrument in Bitwig, it must be added inside a note effects layer device. Bitwig's instruments support MIDI polyphonic expression, or MPE, and the per note pitch bend this offers can be leveraged for polyphonic dynamic microtuning. Load an instance of MTS ESP MIDI client into a note effects layer and select the MIDI poly MPE receive preset. Ensure MPE is enabled in the inspector in Bitwig. Next, select the Bitwig instrument you wish to use and add it after the note effects layer. Add a MIDI modulator to the instrument, set the message to bend and, in the inspector, enable per voice. In the channel settings for the MIDI modulator, make sure all is disabled, then enable voice channel. Finally, assign the MIDI modulator to the instrument's pitch parameter with a range of 48 semitones. The instrument will now follow any tuning changes in MTS ESP Master in real time. To save having to repeat these steps, save the whole configuration in an instrument layer for easy recall. Third-party plugins that don't support MTS ESP can also be retuned in Bitwig Studio by adding an instance of MTS ESP MIDI client inside a note effects layer, right before the instrument. If a plugin supports MPE, use the MIDI Poly MPE preset in MTS ESP MIDI client. You may need to enable MPE in the plugin itself, but a crucial step is to disable MPE for it in Bitwig's inspector. MPE should also be disabled in the inspector for MTS ESP MIDI client, unless you are using an MPE MIDI controller. If this is the case, enable it and also set MPE receive to on in the client itself, letting it know it will be receiving MPE data. Third-party plugins without MPE support are limited to monophonic retuning, working only with parts that play a single note at a time. Select the MIDI mono preset in MTS ESP MIDI client and adjust the pitch bend range on the instrument to be plus or minus 12 semitones. Some hardware synths support the MIDI tuning standard. This is a defined set of MIDI system exclusive messages for transferring tuning data, and the MIDI client can use these to retune a hardware device. Bitwig blocks all SysX messages, so to route MTS messages to a synth, you must use the output port option within the MIDI client plugin itself. <laughs> 